Oh. Yeah, stay down. But I told you guys to knock that the hell off. Jerks. Okay. Come on. Wow, it takes a while to get those flames back up to where they should be. I see you creep into my fire, motherfucker. <laughs> a lot of harpoons. It's an ogre. Fuck him up, fuck him up. Oh, oh Jesus. We gotta do a lot of damage with this guy now. Take out as many of these chumps as we can. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh. Okay. Maybe Atreus can shoot it down? enemies just want to take a second and stock up here okay how are we looking this one Alright, so now can we handle the harpoons? Atreus, shoot him down. That's not how we're gonna do it. <laughs> Come on, Kratos. Come on! Avoid it any longer, guys. Good plan.
with your plan. You're both cracked. He gets it from me. <laughs> you are leaving this realm now. As long as we didn't wreck our way back. Wow. So we landed in a secret chamber of Odin. That's interesting. Okay. Wow. I can't believe that was such a cool section, guys. That was uh, that was really interesting how it went first person there when we were seeing our vision. Like it, it literally went into Kratos' perspective and let us see how like we were suffering from that vision, and then the boy was in the background, and it's just bringing it all together in such a way that like yeah, there's no way to avoid this. Really interesting. And we're not going to talk about that at all, I guess. Maybe once we get through here, we will. But I don't know if the boy fully understood everything he saw right there. What is this place? This is Odin's. I'd recognize his atrocious taste anywhere. Um, okay, I wasn't expecting that. I think this is the way forward. So let me see what's back through this door. Huh. I think this is where Odin brought all his best clues about Jotunheim. Nice. A little bit of lore. The missing tower. The search for any trace of the Jotunheim tower remains fruitless. Not only Midgard, but in all realms in which the tower once stood, there is now only a mystic echo of what was. Had it been destroyed by might, some remnant would remain, but this magical vestige suggests magical means. It must exist somewhere. Our horde of loyal spies continues to grow. I cannot doubt someday we will find it, wherever it may be hidden. The Raven Keeper. Yeah, we saw the echoes of the Jotunheim Tower many times while we were out and about. And this is Eye of the Outer Realm, Epic Enchantment, bonus to all stats. Oh. Oh, that's a good pickup, isn't it? That's going to be like the tier one. And also, I think... What do I have in here right now? Anvari Soul and Tear Shard. Um, I'm not sure if that one counts. So I've been doing some reading, guys. And apparently this Gauntlet of the... Shattered Gauntlet of Ages thing is like the best gauntlet, or rather the best talisman in the entire game. And the reason is because it's actually, apparently it's like one big reference to the Infinity Gauntlet from the Marvel series, the Infinity War movie and comic book. And apparently there's like six different enchantments you can socket into this thing. And if you get three of them in there, um, well, I should say you can put any enchantment in there, but if you get three out of six particular ones, then it gets upgraded to like some incredibly awesome um, talisman attack. And I don't know all of the ones that count towards it, but I think I'm pretty sure Anvari's soul is one of them. I don't know about tears shard, but the one that we just picked up, I think is also one of them. So polished crest of resilience. No symbol of truth. I have so many enchantments in here now. I mean, it's a legendary level one, but none of these acted like they were new. I have the Outer Realm. It's this one, though. Yeah, this gives us a little bit of boost to everything. But, I mean, it's going to be a bigger boost than it looks like because we're replacing Tear Shard. So, actually, if I unsocket this... And then look at Eye of the Outer Realm. 777777. <laughs> so yeah, that one's really good. And then I need to put Tears Shard somewhere else. That's the one I'm not sure if it works in this thing. So I wanted to replace that one specifically. Defense and luck. The burn damage is so nice. I don't really want to lose that. At least not till we get out of Helheim. Maybe later though. We're just getting to a point where it's really difficult to figure out like exactly what we want to get rid of, guys. 10 luck. I don't want to lose my 10 luck. Uh, I don't want to lose any of these. Sucks. Honestly, this might be... No, not that one. The one that gives me more rage is probably a good one to get rid of because I have Ratatosker. So I think maybe this is the one we should not be using 
I think it's going to work out better. And I, again, forgot that I even have this gauntlet attack, but let's see what it looks like now. Still looks the same to me. I don't know if it actually gets any stronger or better. But I'm led to believe that if we get one more... One more good enchantment in there, it'll be something really freaking awesome. So, yeah. I'm glad I read up on that. I had something mentioned to me about it by a buddy of mine who already beat the game. It's nice having that kind of resource. That's, that's one good thing about the slow nature of a Let's Play is everybody else beats the game before you do. And they can tell you good things. The missing panel about here. Odin must have stolen it. But why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Good. Look, clearly that's Tyr. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. It's the symbol of the whole series. That's how I know, kid. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Whoa. Very interesting. What is that? Secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose, ho, 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 I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Head? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. Well, I, I would I be happy to talk to a dwarf. To. Down by the water. Remember? Yeah, I do remember. <laughs> we found that door a long time ago and we had no idea what it was all about. Cool. That didn't count towards the uh the shrines though, sadly. Silver. There's an elevator down. Kid, get out of my face. Look at all these scrolls. How long do you think it would take to read all these guys? It's like a freaking library. Alright. I gotta be honest, I'm starting to kind of lose. Hold on. Before. When you. Saw. I didn't see anything. You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? <laughs> yes. Okay. He has grown up a little bit, guys. He clearly saw what we did. That vision was not exclusive to us. I see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? But he knows that it's it's really painful for us to talk about, and we don't want to. So he's he's acting big, and I don't mean that in like a pejorative, the way I sometimes say it. You know, he's he's maturing a little bit, and he's saying, you know what, we don't have to talk about it if you don't want to, Dad. And that's the first sign of maturity I've seen from him in quite a long time. So he's starting to make things right, little by little, guys. Oh, 
Okay, I guess we should go back to Midgar now. Now, head. Why did you not tell us Baldur is the son of Freya? He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Baldur and Freya, I... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Ed, tell me Baldur's vulnerability. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I yep. am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely. I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, or back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here. Yes, lad. You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, <laughs> physical or magical. <sighs> Enough. This means there is a way. If he troubles us again, we will find it. Oh, that's so good, guys. You know, okay, here, here's a deep cut reference for you guys. Because that conversation right there reminded me so much of one of my favorite television shows, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, okay? Now, people who haven't seen that show, but think they know about it, like to like make fun of it and like make fun of people who watch it, fuck you, that show's awesome. I love it so much. It's an incredible show. And there's a scene just like that in season five, where like this whole group of people is bewitched to not be able to talk about this one character. And there's one guy there who's immune to it because he's a demon. And it's just hilarious. Like he keeps bringing it up and they just keep repeating like, oh, really? You think this about this person? And he's like, yeah, I just fucking said that. And it's... It plays out much the same way. It's it's like they just they just copied the conversation almost. I don't think they actually ripped it off or anything. I'm just saying it's it's funny. And it reminded me of that in a big way. And that's my rant on that. <laughs> Alright then. Let's talk to good old Brock here. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor, or likewise an instrument of war, of which I'm a master at shaping. No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. What? Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. <laughs> Shut your mouth, is that? Where did you? I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> 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 well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Oh, hell, why not? <laughs> What? I can grow too. <laughs> totally. Oh, watch, watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? I don't need to. I triple quenched it with Draugr oil. See, how inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. <laughs> Never too late <laughs> to learn a new trick, is it? They work so well together. No, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. No, oh, quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. It's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Impressive. Uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weak. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. I don't really care either way. <laughs> when did they get back together? 
That's so cool. My brother and me got a new project. Now that we're on speaking terms. Yeah? Good. What do you want? With the whetstone and hammer you've retrieved for us, Brog and I can construct the Devegrathiker, dwarven armor of legend. We Ooh. just need three more mythical ingredients before we set to hammer. Which are? Dunno. Armor's pure legend. And the details is fuzzier than a wolver's butthole. <laughs> you expect us to find parts from a legend? Oh, Mozognir the dwarf king found two of them. Everyone knows that. But when he went looking for the third, poof, he vanished. Maybe he'll find some clues at his stronghold in Konungsgard. And looky here, a Konungsgard entry stone. It's got your name on it. How fucking strange. <laughs> Okay, well, that's exactly what we're going to do next. I'll tell you that right now, guys. The stronghold's northwest of here, behind this Fartlefheim realm tower. Large stone structure, creepy atmosphere. You'll know it when you see it. Yeah, thanks for the heads up on that. The Huldra brothers, back in action again. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Never think I'd see such a day we was back to building as a duo. But it feels right, especially for this. Since used to building on my own all these years, almost forgot how dang useful an extra pair of hands is. I forgot how much easier it is to smelt scap slag with someone else gauging the temperature. This will be our best work <laughs> yet. Just need a little help from you lot. Yeah, totally. I'm, I'm with you guys 100%. I didn't know Holdra was their last name. That's interesting. Something else we can do for you? Come on, just... How you guys worked it out? Ah. Well... I could say the same to you. Huh. I guess I was getting a bit full of myself. Told him what he needed to hear, how it sounds to me. Just the same. I'm sorry <laughs> for how I spoke to you, Sindri. You forgive me? Already have. Oh. Like you said, it all worked out. Now, let us get back to work before I get... Sentimental. Guys, everything's great. We're a big happy family now. This is so cool. You know what I really liked about that cutscene, guys? Was how Brock had, like, absolutely no interest in building this key when we first showed it to him. But then as soon as Sindri was into it, Brock was like, Yeah, you know what? We should do that. And it was because, like, he didn't give a crap about making the thing. He just wanted to work with his brother again. Just really touching. This is a great game. I love this game. Let's get you squared away, man. Okay, Blades of Chaos upgrade is available. That's uh, the very first thing I'm going to do. This will take it up to level four. Now go send them all to hell. Nice. Runic is up to 111 now. That's not bad. Okay. Looks like we got new armor to, to look at in here, too. Wow, this stuff can go up to level nine. That's crazy. 37 Runic. Wow. We're getting into some big trade-offs now. This one's not bad. Runic and defense go up, but we don't lose a ton in other categories. We also have these. Interesting, though, that none of these appear to be an actual upgrade on our overall level. But the thing is, I don't know if that factors in the enchantments that are on it as well. It's a real pain in the ass. I'm going to have to unequip all my enchantments and just look at these again now that we have some new stuff. Just to get an actual, like, fair assessment. Because I don't know how it works. I'll probably do that off camera and then like bring you guys back in as soon as I figure it out. And then go from there. Yeah, we've got lots of new stuff in here, guys. And none of it looks like a real level upgrade as of right now, but I, I can't say until I take off my enchantments. We've got new enchantments to buy too, apparently. Generate legendary enchantment. Wow, takes a lot of enchanted dust to make these. These must be better than I think they're going to be. Increases random stats and may have a random perk. Yeah, I don't know. Like, they're late game stuff. They are pretty expensive from a resource perspective. Oh, I can make a new Chaos Flame now, but I, I need Raging Inferno of Muspelheim. Fuck! I gotta go back to Muspelheim. I have to. <laughs> And the last Frozen Flame is going to be from Niflheim, which we haven't even gone to yet. There's still so much to do in this game. 
Oh god, guys, there's still so much to do. I can't even believe it. Okay. Got my resurrection stone. Um, I don't think I want to sell any armor right now because I want to figure out exactly what kind of stuff I want to wear. Okay, if that'll hold you for now. But I can sell some of this other crap. I think I can sell a lot of these common level enchantments. We get a lot of enchanted dust this way. Just gonna clear out my inventory here. <laughs> I believe how many of these I have. Also, I'm really hoping that I don't actually have any of these equipped. I don't actually know right now. <laughs> if I pop up here and look at like some of the... Yeah, no, it's not even showing the ones I have equipped. So I'm just going to sell like all the common level ones. And you know what? Since I have so much enchanted dust now... Let's let's take a chance and just buy one of these and see what it looks like, guys. Bonus to Rudic and cooldown. Okay. So you take care now. What does that actually look like? Um, let's unsocket this. What's the one I just made? Do I have a symbol telling me it's new? I really don't. I don't even know what the one I just made is. <laughs> That's cool. Mm. Runic and cooldown. It might have been this one? Uh, don't really see how that's worth anything. Runic and cooldown. I eh. think I... I think I'm just going to keep this one on, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then the last thing we should do, we've unlocked new skills for our blades. I want all of them. Why are these glowing like this? What is up with that? Oh, did these, did these just become viable because now I have enough vitality to do them? Maybe that's it. I don't know. So, oh, we're going to get into stance switch stuff with these two, which I learned how to do, just haven't really <laughs> been using it. But, yeah. I want all these moves for the blades, so. The Spear of Chaos Attack creates a minor fire explosion on contact, inflicting burn damage. Oh, so it, it makes this thing have burn prop abilities. That's not the right word. Um, it lets them. It lets it have like burn. I can't think of the word. <laughs> burn properties, I guess, even without having to hold it in, basically. So that's cool. And then while aiming, hold R two to charge the blades of chaos even further and release a powerful elemental slash. This just makes this better. Okay, it's not really much new in terms of that stuff, but sure. And I also, like, I never bought most of these. I have so much XP now, I probably should. Let's at least get these. That way we can do everything in Spartan Rage. That may come in handy at certain moments. I think the rest of these, we have pretty much everything except for the shield combat stuff. Yeah, that's good for now. Okay, guys, so... I'm pretty pleased with our progress so far. When we come back, we're going to do the Dwarven side quest because I really want to see what we get out of that. And it may involve a dragon. I, I'm not 100% sure on that. But the, the dragons in these Dwarf quests seem to be linked occasionally. And I'm pretty sure that dragon tiers are how we're going to get our last upgrade on the Shattered Gauntlet of Ages, which I would look, like to upgrade as soon as possible so I can try and get that awesome attack out of it. So, yeah, that seems like a lot of good stuff heading our way. And um, there's still a ton to do in this game. <laughs> it's crazy how long this game is. But yeah, um, 
that's the plan for next time. Thanks as always, guys. I love you. I'm Dude Long Couch. I'll catch you in the next parts. Y'all take care.